Assalamu alaikum everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am here at Jaguar Land Rover Brampton for the review of the 2023 Land Rover Range Rover Long Wheelbase, the all new Range Rover. A lot of people were asking for this. I'm in Canada, they have this car, so I decided to do a video. So let's start the full in-depth review of the 2023 Range Rover. So before I show you the front face of the car, I have to say the history of this Range Rover. So the Range Rover first started at 1970 with the first generation and it has total five generations, including this. If we talk about the Range Rover, Land Rover specifically made this because of off-roading vehicle and then slowly it became a luxury SUV because now everybody likes their big luxury SUVs. And then one more thing I'm just gonna tell you, at 2013, Jaguar actually bought Range Rover, so now they are a same company. But before that, Land Rover was an individual company, and before that, another company used to own Land Rover. That's pretty much it, not gonna bore you with it, but one more feature. So the first generation of the car was 175 inches, but now the car is 207 inch for the long wheelbase. So first I'm going to show you the key of the car. So this is the key of the new Range Rover. Same as the previous generation, it has the Land Rover written here. You have lock, unlock, your lights on and trunk opening and your panic button. And you have the emergency key slot too. So the Range Rover has been fully redesigned, but it is very similar to the previous generation of the vehicle. The width of this car is 81 inches and this is the long wheelbase. So more longer than the standard wheelbase. Now I'm going to get inside for turning these lights on. So I'm gonna come outside for showing you guys the lights of the vehicle. So the new Range Rover has completely new redesigned headlights, but it is similar to the previous generation. As the daytime running lights are here, it's a square and then it all the way extends up till here and it's very fancy from the previous generation. It's like more nicer because the old generation was very thin. This is like very fat. And because it's a North American spec, it has a side reflector and the hazards are on the top instead with the daytime running lights like the previous generation. There are optional extra headlights, but this is that comes with this headlight. You have two projector setup. This is the first, that is the second, that's for your high beam. Headlight designs are completely nice and it is completely new. You have headlight washers too for washing the headlight if you do some heavy off-roading. Now I'm going to show you the full front fascia of this vehicle. So first of all, if you come on the hood, you have this range over it and as the previous generation so you could tell what vehicle it is then you have this grill it depends on which grade you're getting like the sv gets a completely different grill but this is the standard grill that goes all around the range rovers in the previous generation the vents were closed but in the new generation it is fully automatic it's closed inside but if it needs ventilation it's going to automatically open the flaps but the grill design is nice it has this satin finish and land rover badging on the side but no more plug-in hybrid for this generation, so their full grill is open and this is not a hybrid, this is a 4.4 liter V8. You have the number plate slot here with Land Rover Brampton, Jaguar Brampton written, and you have six sensors at the front. This is your front camera located down here. And these parts are also open. And if you see at the fog lamps of the vehicle, the fog lamps are also mind-blowing design. You have this off-road chin and the front is very, very nice, to be honest. The hood design is actually same as the front, but it actually suits the car. It has like lesser lines than previous, but it is more modern. Now let's check out what is powering the all-new Range Rovers. So for opening the hood of the car, I have to do that from the driver's side of the vehicle. So there is a button here. If I just pull this, there you can see it opens. Soft door close on the doors and there is a button here and there we go hydraulic struts the new Range Rover's engine is completely different from the previous generation as in my country everyone got the P400E or the 3 liter V6 hybrid but now there is a P400 but no E anymore so there's no hybrid for the P400 this is their 4.4 liter twin turbo V8. That is very powerful. 
quad tips at the back with a ZF 8-speed transmission that is fast and buttery smooth at the same time. And the 0 to 60 of this car and the weight of this car is going to be written. You have two engines for the new Range Rover, a 3-liter and a 4.4-liter. The 3-liter has 395 horsepower, the 4.4-liter has 523 horsepower. 553 pound-feet of torque. It has two differential lockers. And if you come in, because it's a twin turbo, you have twin air box on either side for ventilating the turbochargers. And you can see your Land Rover plaque and your V8 engine right here. All the air comes out, so it doesn't go out of the vehicle. It bounces off, and then it goes back into the air box for ventilating the engine. And you have insulation right there. That's pretty much it. Now, I'm going to show you the car's side profile. So the length of this car is 207 inches for the longer wheelbase that is this vehicle and the standard wheelbase is more shorter than this. And this is the first time ever the Range Rover gets a third row, so it is more longer than the previous generation of this car. First of all, I'll show you the wheels. So, because it's a Range Rover, it's a luxury vehicle, it needs some nice looking wheels. So as you could see, this is the second biggest wheel you could get in Range Rovers and you have all season tires from Pirelli and the tire size of this car is 285 40 R23s. You have six piston brakes at the front that are regenerative so when you brake the car, it can charge the battery of the car with the brake for the plug-in hybrid vehicle but because this is a non-hybrid vehicle, it doesn't have that feature but it has very powerful brakes. It has air suspension at the front, at the back. A lot of people asked, what is the difference with the new and the old vehicle? Because it looks the same. It's the lines. Now there are completely no lines on this car. Just quickly change the camera angle for you guys for showing the side profile more nicely. As you can see, the side is fully flush, except this one line that all the way goes to the back. So it is more aerodynamic and it looks more nicer. As the previous generation got three lines, but now it has this nice treatment in this satin color and it, it looks good with this pearl white. And if it's the autobiography, it's going to be written here. And that's pretty much it. The specs on the car is actually always written here now, instead of the rear. If you show you the camera, just unlock the car and we could see the exterior mirror that is in gloss black. And you have the hazard light here and you have the side camera for the 360 degree view. And the window linings are fully in this black, as you can see, all the way at the rear. And privacy glass is actually an uh, optional extra. And this is the first time the big Range Rover has these doors. Previous generation had pulling doors, but now if the car is locked, it is flush for the minimalistic look. But when you get in, you just unlock the car, one opens, and then again, this opens and you can open the door. And then soft door close too. And you can see Land Rover written here as the branding. And the side profile is all the way fully minimized. So it is more holding the body than it was from the previous generation. And it is very long. Like the rear doors are very big, as you can see. And for the fuel tank of the car, if the car is unlocked, if you just press here, the fuel tank opens up and then you can open this cap and fill up your vehicle. That is more than before. If you come to the rear wheels, this is the first time Range Rover introduced their rear wheel steering. So the rear wheel actually moves when you drive it. So it feels like it's an Evoque when you drive this car in, in parking maybe. But it has smaller brakes than the front and the same tires and the same wheels. That's pretty much it for the side profile. You have another sensor here and the side reflector here. And you have this little edge that stops the line for the side profile. Now I'm going to show you the rear and the practicality of the all-new Range Rover. So now I'm going to get inside the vehicle and turn on the rear lights. The rear is completely changed from the old generation. So I'm just going to quickly go and turn everything on. So we get inside. The car is on. This is the full light with the reverse and the hazard. Now, if I just come outside for showing you guys the lights. In the previous generation, as you could see here, it has the square lights. But on the new generation, this is a line that is your brake light. But when you put the hazards on, this blinks. 
but on the UK spec of the vehicle, the hazard isn't here. The hazard is inside here that blinks. I know it's confusing, but I'm going to put a little picture so you guys can get your confu confusing part right. So this is your brake light with hazard for the North American and American spec, because in these countries, the hazards are in red color. But in Asian and European countries, the hazards are yellow. So for the yellow, they, need, they completely need the new light. So it's here, but because it's red, it's at the same place as your rear tail light for American specs or North American specs. You have this black treatment and you have your Range Rover written all the way. You have the Land Rover badging here and you can see the same lights on this side. And this has the optional extra black pack. So a lot of treatments are black, as you can see. If you come down, you have reflector and your reversing light and rear fog lights here. You have six sensors at the back and this off-road chin, but you have real exhaust pipe. As you can see, two there, two here. It is really powerful. This is your number plate slot with two lights on your number plate and you have your reversing camera with your reversing camera washer. You guys could be like, where's the windshield wiper for the rear? Range Rover is always sleek. It's under the spoiler, so it looks more sleeker. And you have this upper stall brake light and you have a functional spoiler and a lot of car gets one shark fin. Look at how many this car has. It has two. And on the left side, you can see there's a camera that is actually for the rear view camera one. And that looks really aerodynamic. And you can see now the side reflectors are actually bright enough. And that's pretty much it for the side profile. Now I'm going to see is the new Range Rover practical or not. So for opening the boot of the new Range Rover, it's the same. You can do it from the key, you can do it from here and the inside. So if you just press on the key, it's going to open and it's the same design as the previous generation, the split tailgate, so you can enjoy it when you're in picnics and stuff. This is the first time the all new Range Rover gets a third row, seven seaters, so it's very long. It's more longer than the previous generation, but it's only available in the longer wheelbase. You can't get a seven seater version on the standard wheelbase. So the storage here is going to be written. You have some underfloor storage too. As you can see, you have your tire repair kit and your towing hook. And if you want, you could get this part up. So you could put some storage in and this is how much storage you have. But if you need more storage, you could fold down the third row. With those two buttons, it's going to powerly fold down. There you can see you have a lot more storage now. But if you need more storage, you can fold down the second row too, fully powerly. Now you have a lot more storage. And these are the buttons for folding the seats. This is for getting the car lowered or higher so you could put more heavier stuff. And this is for four down together. And the buttons are actually from the previous generation Range Rover, the window buttons. Premium. You have a storage slot here and you have a power outlet here for refrigerator. You have a hook here so you can hook your groceries and you have lights on both of the sides. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to get this down again. And there you can see full flat bed. Now I'm going to close the boot because we are done with the exterior of the car. There. So this is fully the exterior. I forgot to t tell you guys the height of the car. So the height of the Range Rover is 74 inch. And because it has air suspension, you can raise up the car and lower the car if you want. Now let's get inside the new Range Rover. So now I'm going to get inside the third row of the new Range Rover and it is more easier than a lot like Germans and Americans. There's a button here. If I just press this, the 40 is going to raise up and give me enough room so I could get inside the third row of the vehicle. There you can see. Now I can easily get inside the third row. So close. And for getting the seat back, I don't need to go and reach there. There's a button here. If I just press that, it's going to come back by himself. I'm just going to quickly get the headrest up. And the Range Rover's rear seat is better than the GLS. 
and most probably better than the X7 because I'm more than comfortable in the rear seats and it is two individual chairs that you could be comfortable in. You have an AC vent at the side and a bottle holder. And if you see on this side, light placement, this is leather, this is leather, everything's like leather on the top to its leather. You have the subwoofer here. And then if you come down, you have a USB-C type, heated seat, and this is for the seat controls. You have a light here, but I would like another sunroof here as this X7, because this is a long car. Now I'm going to come into the second row seats. Same button, just press this. And there it comes back down. And you guys could say, what are these two buttons? This is actually for folding down the third row and getting it back up. Now I'm going to sit inside the second row. Second row seats are more comfortable than the third row. You can get the Comfort Plus package if you want, but then you can't get the third row seats. Yeah. You have Isofix anchor points, and this car has this full black leather interior. And if you get the armors down, that is manual, but with the Comfort Plus package, it automatically comes down. First of all, you have your cup holders here. They're gonna fall. If you just press this button, you have a little storage area here. More practical than before. And the seats are really comfortable with these headrests and you can get optional extra blinds too that this car actually has and for that and there you go the blinds come up more privacy so this car has the meridian sound system that is more expensive and it is optional extra this is actually for your rear climate control so you can see both of the climate control here and this is fully digitally controlled you have two ac vents and you have your two USB-C types and a power outlet. Seat pockets here and here. But if you get the Comfort Plus package, there's more and more luxury. Grab handle with the light and an AC vent here for cooling the car fast. And this car has a fully big panoramic sunroof. So you could enjoy the sky. And this actually opens. You can get another one that is the fixed panoramic sunroof. So that doesn't open it. You could just see the sky, that's it. Now I'm gonna to come to the door for showing you guys. First of all, you could see Meridian 3D surround here, but I would like metal speakers and another speaker here. You have your bottle holder with a lot of chrome treatments, your lock and unlock. This is your door handle. You have more chrome than your grab handle. You have your window control and you could control both of the mirrors. And this is for your seat controls. So as you can see, I'm just going to quickly go on my seat again because I forgot to show you one more feature. You could actually move the seat forward for giving more room for the rear passenger or you can recline it a lot more so you could easily comfortably sit. And it has two memory seats too. Actually, to be honest, three. And these are the controls for the blinds and your personal comfort. Now I'm going to go on the front seat, so it also has soft or close, so just it pulls it in. Now let's get into the front seats of the new Range Rover. So now we're on the front seats of the new Range Rover. Let's start with the dash. First of all, you have your AC vent here with this chrome treatment. Then you have this line that looks cool. And then if you press two buttons, first one is storage on top with the power output here. And the second one is for your glove box with your owner's manual of the car inside. And there it says Land Rover. So there. And then if you come on the center, you have two more AC vents and the hazard slide button. And then you can see your subwoofer and two vents and you also have a heads-up display on this car. Now let's come to the seats. The seats are fully comfort seats. It says 20 way adjustable for the passenger and the driver and it is heated, ventilated and massaged. And you have this armrest thingy for Range Rover that all the car have. Centerpiece, press this button. You have a little storage area. You could get optional extra refrigerator and you have a lot more storage than you think. Get this back, you have your cup holders here. You could put some large size coffee in there and then there's another one here 
for a wireless charging pad, a USB-C, and more storage for like putting the key. Then this is your volume button. This is for turning the car on. This is the new gear knob design. So for drive, if you just press a button at the back and there, but then now the car is not on. And now this is for the driving mode. So for changing the driving mode, you have to do it from here and it actually comes here. There you can see. So you have dynamic, eco, comfort program, grass, gravel, snow, mud, rudge, sand, rock, climb, and your water. So I'm gonna leave it at comfort program. And these are your low range mode and your off-road features. Then you have your climate control display here. And it is fully digital. There. And then if you press on it, it's red here and blue here, so it actually looks good with the animation of the thing. It actually changes color. Then you have your max AC, AC, max AC, your rear windshield heater, front windshield heater, and the outsider coming inside. Where you want the air, auto, and the seat massaging features. So you have the heated seats, you can turn the fronts on from here. Second row and third row. And these are for the adjustments, you could do it completely powerly, driver or passenger. And more is for your massaging system and everything. Now I'm going to show you the infotainment system, but before that, let's show you the vanity mirrors, but that is big. You have your first vanity mirror, mirror with light, and if you open it, right there, you have another one. So the sun can never disturb you again. And you have some microphones on top for the voice command system. I'm just gonna try that in a moment. You have a grab handle on the driver's side too. This is the rear view mirror. It's a mirror, but if it's not useful, you could just turn on the camera and see the defender back there. These are the control for closing and opening the blind and opening the sunroof and closing the sunroof. So if I just press the button now, you can see the sunroof opening. There, that is the maximum it opens and this is for closing. And this is for the blind closing, it's gonna close by itself. Now I'm going to show you this car's infotainment system and it is completely new and better than ever. So this car gets a 13 inch curved OLED display. So for turning that on, there you can see, and it is very easy to use. First of all, if you just press on the top button, it welcomes you and you can make your own profile and a profile for your family members too. It depends on who's driving. Then you can see the navigation. You could search where you wanna go there, or you could save some stuff or food, fuel, and you have some safe like parking garage shops, museum, and all those. Hotel Police Station Hospital. And you can see the map is very easy to use. And then you have your mobile connected, like your Bluetooth, so you could connect your Bluetooth right there. And then you have your audio for your tune mix player, your favorite, browse and your a lot other features, as you can see here. And then you could go on the vehicle settings by pressing this button, and then you could control the off-road modes for the suspension, so you could raise it up, get it down, and if you go on drive, you could see all your dynamic modes here. Auto brake hold, engine start, stop. And then here, you have your dynamic stability control. You could turn off traction control and turn it on. And that's pretty much it for the infotainment system. You could go on menus, you could see navigation account, seat, climate, cameras. So you could see the full 360 right here in this 3D view. There, and you can see the 360 here too. And you can see the off-road cameras too. And you could lock your two differentials that this car has. Back to menu, you have your valet mode, so it's going to turn off all the features. That is not necessary for the valet driver. You have your eco data, 4x4 information, you have your low range mode, you have your vehicle instrument, and your voice, phone, media. This is for your ambient lighting system. You can choose a lot of colors from here, but because it's morning, you can't see the lights. You can just put it on the, this. Yeah, you can't see the lights because it's morning but you could see it on the seat pocket right there, purple. 
and I'm gonna go back to menu and that's pretty much it for the infotainment of the new Range Rover. And these are your shortcut buttons here, just for easy view. Very nice, better than the previous generation. Now let's come to the steering. Steering is also fully new redesigned and it is powerly adjustable from this button, this tilt and telescopic. So you can adjust it how you want it. And you have metallic treatments here and you have these for this and these are for your safety controls and the paddle shifters are big and it's aluminum this time. On this side you have your hazards and headlight controls, over this side you have your windshield wiper controls. Now I'm going to show you the car's instrument cluster. So this is a 12.3 inch edge display for the instrument cluster. So first of all you have your speed here, top speed is 300 km per hour and you can see the speed limit max 80. This is your warnings that comes here. This is the car has a full tank and it's going to go 514 kilometers with it. This is the mileage of this car, it's 38 kilometer. And it says check engine light because the car is not on, it's on ignition. This is the RPM red lines in six and a half thousand. You have your engine temperature. And then you hear, if you just press this button, you could control to a lot more. So first of all, you could see your information pad, display layout. So you could put dial, map, or this, map and speedo. So I'm gonna leave it on dials because I really like the dials. There we go. And that's pretty much it. You have your traffic information, heads up display and vehicle settings here too. Now I'm just going to quickly show the heads-up display to you guys. So the heads-up display is very advanced from the previous generation. So it can give you arrow with your navigations and a lot more feature when you drive the car. But now it's just showing the kilometer and T because the car is on park. Now I'm going to go to the door. So first of all, you have your AC vent and full leather here. This is for opening the boot. You have your dead pedal, brake pedal and grass pedal. And then this is for opening the hood. And then you could see you have your Range Rover written here and these are also covered in full leather. Now, if you come to the door, first of all, you have your Twitter, Meridian 3D surround. Then if you come back, you have full leather and metallic, and then you have wood and these are your seat controls, window controls, and your exterior mirror controls. Grab handle, door handle, lock and unlock. And then you have a bottle holder here. And the door actually fully covers, so it doesn't get dirty when you're off-roading and touch your pants. And it has softer clothes, as you guys know. So if you need any Range Rovers at Toronto, you could get it from Jaguar Land Rover Brampton. I'm going to link their Facebook page at the description box. So it's more easier for you guys. And if you need cars, you could talk to someone named Sunil. He's going to help you out with everything. Until then, stay safe, stay home. See you at the next review. Peace.